Whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah, hello, I'm um, Mark Amy, Vicar of St Ives, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the St Ives Food Bank. The idea for the food bank was an initial, uh, it came from Nick Dibbin, who's the president of town mayor of St Ives, who asked if we would be interested in being part of the food bank movement and setting up one for local people. And initially we sat on this for a number of months while we got our head round what was being involved and decided it was something that we were being called to do. So we had a conversation with God Manchester Food Bank, who were very helpful to us in making sure that we were doing the right thing, and introduced us to systems such as the voucher system of referrals, so that we weren't being judgmental, we weren't in the situation that we were making decisions. It's the external agencies who are more aware of people's situations and circumstances who make the decision which fits in with us very well because we believe we have a duty of care that is multi-directional. Right? It's not just for those who are receiving the food, but we also have a duty of care to those who are very generously donating the food to make sure that their generosity is not being abused um, and that it's going to those who are in genuine need rather than letting people use the food to supplicate their lifestyle so they can spend the cash they have on other things. Um, we've grown, uh, we've been three months in the row now and we've invested a lot of money in facilities and equipment, most of which you'll see in the course of this video. It was very important to us that we didn't operate on a system of cardboard boxes and collapsing shelves, but everything was there and ready to rock and roll so that it was, we were as efficient as possible. We were very fortunate in having Carol Dennis, who's our administrator who masterminds the whole project and is the lead person who goes out and talks to the agencies and manages all the rotors and it wouldn't happen without Carol. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to our supporters in the community of which we've had a number. It is an activity that's supported by churches together and they are very very supportive um, of the things we're doing, very generous as is the whole wider community. We've had gifts from other building societies, particularly I'd like to mention Norwich and Peterborough, building society who paid for our industrial scales, which have made life so much simpler, for, and particularly for David, and trying to work off a set of bathroom scales, which by now I think would have uh, tear him, caused him to pull out whatever hair he has left out. And to Waitrose, who of course are big in the community scheme anyway, who not only have had the Green Token scheme for us, um, of their own initiative, but have also um, facilitated a collection day which has been very good for the community as a whole. Not just because of um, getting food in, but for people to actually see what's happening and to actually see the churches working together and being Christians in deed as well as just word. Um, and I think that's really all you need to hear from me now to say that we're very grateful that God seems to be blessing our project. We're getting what we need in when we need it. Um, there's always going to be a need, so we don't never going to say that we've got too much because there will come times of famine as well as times of plenty and we need to make sure we're balancing things out and I'm just going to pass over for closing remarks now to Carol who doesn't want to be seen on camera but I'm going to give her no choice <laughs> Carol yeah I just want to say that the food bank is working very well we're very dependent on our volunteers which come from all of the churches and for the community in general who are extremely supportive and generous to us and that we are here to help people who are in need and there are, there are so many people around in our area who are in need. It's, people have a crisis and we're here to help at that time and um, many, many people, well, no, nobody knows what's in the future and so there are many people who do need help and we're more than pleased to be able to help give a cup of tea and a biscuit and a listening ear and, um, and, and helping.